We back, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of the No Gloves Podcast, where I am your host, Southern Cal, my co-host. Nine million. Real quick, for my people on YouTube, I need y'all to please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you will be among the first to be notified when we drop our latest YouTube episodes on the podcast. And for those of y'all on YouTube and those of y'all who are on Facebook Live right now, if you like what you are hearing, you like what we are doing, and you want to support what we are doing, please bless the cash out. We now have a No Gloves Podcast cash out. If my wife would be able to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and post that up in the live real quick. Uh, we have a we have a, a No Gloves Podcast cash app now. It's official. Um, and um, please, you know, y'all feel free to bless the cash app. You know what I'm saying? Hey, every little bit helps. Every little bit counts. I don't care. You know what I'm saying whether whether it's a it's a hundred dollars or whether it's a dollar. It don't matter. Every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. You get what I'm saying? And um, yeah, so yeah, so my wife just posted it up in the um in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dollar sign. That's dollar sign. No gloves podcast. Um, so those of y'all on YouTube right now, we will you know you'll see it run across the the top of the screen and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? So you know what I'm saying. Once I edit this thing, you know what I'm talking about. So so yeah, man, we gonna get into it, man. Nine million meals. Mm, you know what I'm saying? My brother. My friend, my compadre, <laughs> my amigo. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about what's going on with you, bro? Not much, man. Another day. Blessed to still be here. Man, every day above ground is a good day. Yeah. Every, bo- every day above ground is a good day, man. Man, I got a question for you. I got, a, I got a crazy question I've been wanting to ask you. Let me let me, let me stop drinking. Let me let me come down a little bit for the you. I'm saying you know for and for everybody in the know I'm saying in the in in the in the uh, live the live chat whatever. <clears throat> <clears throat> drinking, we see, we see. Oh, they go hope. <clears throat> What's going on, hope? Um, we had to tag you because you said you don't get the notification, so we had to make sure we tag you. So we don't want no smoke. We don't want, you know what I'm saying? We don't, you know what I mean? we don't want no kind of you smoke. I mean? Somebody tag my dog Erica. Somebody tag my dog Erica too. But um, <clears throat> but anyways, what I wanna what I what I wanna ask um is that you know what I'm saying this is something that society um puts up with on a on a regular basis. We uh society um puts on what? Well society advertises this. Okay. Uh, society, you know, if we're attacking the real issues of society, mm-hmm. society, um, um, society praises this. All, all, you know what I'm saying? Almost you could say. Okay. Promotes it. Okay. Promotes it in the music. You okay. know. Um, how do we? How do we get over? How do we get past or eliminate toxic relationships? Oh wow. How do we eliminate toxic relationships in the community? Um, Because here's the thing. We're going to talk about this, man. Let's talk. A lot of broken homes are created when, you know, when you do things outside of marriage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, homestead communication. Um... That's always going to be the foundation for everything is communication. But 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 it's the thing. But but see, but see, but see, the thing is, it goes the toxic relationship goes past. Yeah, it goes past um, communication because with toxic relationships, you got they be hitting on people, they be hitting on each other, they be like physically abusing each other, mm-hmm. choking each other, all kind of stuff or whatever. But then you know I'm saying it's like, man, how do y'all put up with that from each other and still get right back together with each other? No, I'm talking about like that's toxic. Like, how can you go go back to that person's house after she just? How can you go back to her house and stay the night with her the next night after she just flattened all your tires the night before, or after she just bushed all your windows out the night before? You go like, back. I'm not, I'm trying to understand. Like, how do you go back to that person's house or whatever 
and act like and, and, and act as if ain't nothing happened. It goes back to what to what um the the other episode you know that we talked about that if we see a man fighting his woman, will we say something? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Because you know because we know that all these things, a lot of these things happen, a lot of these fights happen. You know, somebody it comes from like you know, what I'm saying toxic being. You know, what I'm saying like it's too much toxicity going on around here. You know what I'm saying? So, how do we reduce that? How do we, you know, what I'm saying how do we get past? How do we reduce top toxic relationships? You know, we, and it, we can't do nothing. You know why we can't reduce it? Okay, well, well it's okay, personal. well, how, well, how, are, well, how are, what do you think um, would be a cure or what would be an answer? For toxic relationships, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you know? What do you think? I mean, I mean, how can I word this? I mean, cause really, man. I mean, it's kind of like people. Sometimes I don't think people get used to being in that kind of stuff. I don't think. I think when people been in those kind of relationships for a long period of time, I don't think they know how to function in a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Cause they always tend to mess up a good relationship when it's not when it's going completely perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, which well, like I feel, like, feel like I feel like they get used to being in a toxic relationship, and then when the relationship going great, you get some people that sabotage their own relationship because it's just going too good. I mean, it's crazy to me, but I, I mean, I know I know people who actually done it. You know what I'm saying? And so I mean, mm. sabotage their own relationship because that's what they're used to. They're used to being. They're not used to. Have, you know, sometimes you get them girls. I know sometimes you get them girls, and they'd be like. When they tell you, oh, you're too good for me, this, this, that, and the third. A lot of times, our mind as a man go on to thinking like, oh, yeah, she a hoe. She a hoe, and she don't want to hurt me. But a lot of times, they mean, a lot of, a lot of times when women say that, it could also mean that, hey, the relationship going too good. You too nice. I don't like that. I'm used to bad boys. I'm used to, to this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't the kind of guy that interests me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I mean, but what's the... Okay, so... Why do females go for the bad boys and, 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 and overlook the, the, the good guys? Because a lot of... Because bad boys are interesting. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. obvious, you know what I mean? Like, like mm -hmm. you, you you were once a bad boy, you know what I'm saying? I was recently a bad boy. I mean, you know, so bad boys... I mean, I think... I think, I think you still got a little bit of that bad boy in you. You got, you know what I'm saying? I think... Why was you tell me that she said, man, I, I think you still got some bad boy in you, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, because you, have, you have an edge. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know what I'm and, saying? And, that edge, and that's something that a lot of people ain't got now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But you have an edge. I feel like I have an edge. I know I do. You know? I know. I know. I'm in some wild shit. Because, because, <laughs> because we don't, because we're not afraid to, to, to say, you know, hey, sit your ass down. Exactly. Hey, you're doing too much. Hey, you're doing too, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're doing way too much. Hey, I don't know what your problem is, but yeah, you check, but you, yeah, you check you know your problem at the door. But you know, hey, and, and you know, a lot of women, a lot of women like that kind of guy, though. You know why? Because he ain't a pushover. Like, you know, you get a, you get some women, you would think they would love to have a guy that they can just run over, they can go out and stay out as long as they want to, never have to yeah. ask, like, answer any question. Right. I don't know a lot of women that want that. Mm. Like, I've actually heard some women say, I mean, you know, he's too easy going for me. I'm like, I need somebody that's going to let me know when I'm out of line, put me in my place. I've actually heard women say that. Yeah, me too. You know yeah. what I mean? So my, my wife even told me one time, she said, man, what? She said, what woman don't want to be put in her place low key? It just depends on what you. I ain't gonna. I can't. I can't say she one hundred percent believe that because it just depends on what you put them in their place for. If it's something they really want to do, I don't think they want to get put in their place. <laughs> like if she really I mean, want to go to a party I mean, tonight, and then you said, "Nah, nah, look." Nah, I if she, a, if, I don't if think you, that's a good look. If I'm you looking. establish dominance, mm. and earlier on in the relationship, if you establish dominance, and she and she gains that why respect, that, you know, why does that? When you say, the way you said it, it just sounded like we talk like some National Geographic wildlife. Discovery. No, you got to Don't say no. If you dominant, not not controlling, who that? Oh, that's my boy Byron. What's going on, bro? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hold that up, bro. He said he said something. Hold on. It looked like what he was saying was good. In my opinion. 
Some folks grow up without an example of a functional relationship. Okay, good, yep. Then don't do the work to learn how to function in a normal relationship. Yeah, that's good. That's true. I mean, that's just, true. But I mean, but but do that's you, true. I mean, I understand what he's saying, but at the same time, I feel like that's kind of the same thing with being raised by your parent, right from wrong, you still choose your own path in the day. And even if they seen a good functioning relationship, don't mean they can't get with somebody and, and <clears throat> pretty much being in some dysfunctional relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's all about the choices you make. And you know, and like sometimes, like in women is special. I'm gonna say especially women. Women, like a lot of good women that like educated, you know, career driven, they always get with bad boys.